Hey folks, Captain Dave here in the Wolf Den. And I wanted to go over how to make a dull reel exciting. Is there a way of doing that? Yes, there is. I did a video probably about a year ago where I jazzed up a Daiwa Ryoga with sort of an aftermarket Daiwa handle. It's a way of taking a boring handle and turning it into actually something kind of exciting. You know, a Timex watch isn't the most, most exciting watch in the world. Either is Shimano Triton Real. This is Shimano Triton 100G. I've got videos about this reel and it's, you know, through the roof of how many views and comments that I get constantly about it. But it's a boring reel. It's a Timex reel. It does the job that it's intended to do and it does it really well. You can't hurt it. It's just one of those kind of reels. Graphite, doesn't corrode strong drag, level wind. It's my go-to staple reel after working through a whole bunch of other reels. I'm just back to this and always and always have loved these reels. But look at that handle. Is that one boring handle or what? And the whole deal is is that Shimano must think we're like kids with little tiny tiny hands because yeah you can reel in a big fish with this but boy, is that an absolute boring handle. So, that is an exciting handle. This is a handle for a Calcutta. And in the video description below, below the video, where it says show more, click on that and it'll open up to the video description. I will write down, give you the model number of this. So if you are a Shimano Triton owner with a boring handle. You too can get a Shimano Calcutta handle and put it on here and make this an exciting reel again. And what makes it exciting is for the sheer fact reeling in a 20, 30, 40 pound redfish with this, not, not as much fun as it is as reeling it in with that. It's just so easy. Got my little tool kit here. You're going to take your cap off, your nut. I mean, it's just so easy. Take the screw out, take the cap off. driver. Put the correct nut driver on this cap. There we go. Take the nut off. Alright, I mean we're talking you don't have to be a real technician to do this. Make sure you keep all your parts and pieces in front of you. Take this off. Throw it in the pile. Put this on. And it's just that simple. Put your nut back on. And then tighten it. The way these always work out is the point on the nut where there's a point on the nut from one of the sides of the nut. You're going to tighten it up. And you're going to tighten, these go pretty tight. But you're going to tighten it up. And what it basically works out as is when one of the points is pointing towards the screw hole, this usually fits right on. See, I'm just off of it a little bit. Your little nut, your little cap, which is your retainer. Alright. Take that, throw that on. Alright. Line up the hole. 
put the screw back in the little retainer there you go folks you just turned a boring reel into an exciting reel that right there is so much better but I mean we're talking about a $65 reel brand new I remember when it was 55 brand new so they're not going to give you this handle so what do you got to do you got to spend anywhere you can get them on the Shimano website you got to look up Calcutta parts on the parts list and you order the one that fits on here which I think they pretty much all fit on here they're, they're all interchangeable or you can find them on eBay I happen to pick up two I got another one right here because I've got some newer uh, Tritons that I'm just pushing into service here so I can rotate all my reels so I'm not using the same reels and the same rods over and over again I got these on eBay for about the same price free shipping but you're looking at you know 20 something bucks for each one of these at least for with shipping I think they were maybe 20 or something like that even on the Shimano website but don't pay you know $35 for one of these handles and if Shimano is out of them you can sign up where it says notify me when these come in and they will send you an email and then you go right back to the website and order it so many people don't go right to the real manufacturer to order parts but you can and Shimano makes it very very easy but you can also find these on eBay the most I'd pay I think for one of these on eBay would maybe be twenty three twenty four dollars with free shipping something like that the only reason I'm, I'd buy these on eBay to start off with which these two came from is I get eBay bucks so I get I get money back every quarter and that's a whole other subject is the ins and outs on eBay which I should do a video of because everything I pretty much have comes off of eBay or Amazon so there we go in two minutes I just took a boring reel with a little baby handle on it and turned it into an exciting reel I'll put the link below in the video comments of the other video I did showing the Daiwa aftermarket handle that I stuck on some Daiwa Ryoga reels all right so there you go there's just another little tip you can do this with about almost every reel you can do this with Garcia Ambassadors um, you can do it, of course, with some Shimano's. You can do it with Daiwa. You can do it with a lot of reels. You just got to find the right handle. And, um, heck, Daiwa even makes an aftermarket handle. Okay. And, of course, eBay is absolutely loaded with um, handles that are available in Japan and Korea. All right. Thanks for watching and stopping by. I'm going to put this other one on. I'll see you in the next video.